Praise be to God. I bring greetings in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the September month. We have crossed the eighth month, the August, and entered into the ninth month of September. My beloved, the last month God gave us a beautiful thing, month of faith, and He encouraged you with a promise. I hope he has made our faith strong and steadfast. Today, just examine how you spent your August month. Did you travel along with the promise every day? Let's all join together to give thanksgiving to the Lord for whatever he has done during the month of August. And let us ask the grace for the month of September. Even in the September month, as the Lord led, I'm so glad to bring you the promise of God, the theme for September month. Let us turn our Bibles to 1 Kings 8 chapter verse 24. King Solomon was telling that, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, he said, who has done today what he promised my father David, who was his servant. Thou hast said in the mouth, with thy mouth, that today you have fulfilled that through your hand. My beloved, my dear brothers and sisters, young adults, children. There are many names given to our God, but one name is, He is a promise keeper. He never fails in His word. He is such a faithful God. His promises are ever true. Here, King Solomon is so exclaimed, or he's so surprised and he lifts his hand during the dedication of the house of God which he has built for God and he's telling that blessed be your name God because you promised something out of your mouth in the days of my father David but today as of today you fulfilled through your hand which I'm seeing which I'm witnessing And thereby he is declaring the faithful, faithfulness of God, the promise keeping quality of God. Solomon is underlining, though the generation might come and change, but God keeps his promises. Some of the promises of God can happen so quickly, so immediately, but some of the promises he sets time. And here, whatever he said through his mouth in the days of David, he is fulfilling through his hand in the days of Solomon. Yes, my beloved, whatever the path you are going through, whether you are dejected or you are in anxious, something is not working, what I'm expecting, I don't know what will be my future, what is my next step. You might be confused, your life might be full of dilemmas, but today, the, I want to encourage every one of you that there is a God who keeps up His, his promises. Whatever He has promised in your life, He will definitely fulfill it. Some of the blessings that we are enjoying today, it's not of us. It's maybe your mom, your dad, or your grand grandfather, grandmother, somebody else who, have, who, who should have been, um, who should have uh, waited in the presence of God, got a promise for you, and that's the result of the blessings that what we are enjoying today. But many of them, they don't realize that. 
But King Solomon is really saying, today what you have accomplished through me, it's not what I have done, but it is the promise that came out of the mouth during the days of my father. And today you have fulfilled it through your hands, which I'm seeing it. Just believe. Your, the promises of God are so true. Let us celebrate these promises in this month and go forward holding on the faithfulness of God. Let us stand firm on the promises of God. May the Lord God bless this word in your personal, professional, spiritual life and may God bless you abundantly in the September month. Let us enjoy this month. Let us celebrate this month with the promises of God as this month theme is month of promises. God bless you and happy September.